Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy's back and I done did it again. Guys, today I have something special for you guys. All right. So we have the top 10 worst states and U.S. territories for developers. I already released the top 10 best, which I'm going to put in the description below. And I'm going to ask you guys, please leave a comment and let me know if you're either in one of the states or you're worried about your state do you think that there's jobs in your area okay so leave a comment leave a like and let's go into it okay first of all we got number 10 puerto rico i like it like that i like it like that i'm sorry i don't know why i did that voice um but yeah man puerto rico got 45 jobs um, it's pretty bad in Puerto Rico. Okay. Um, definitely, you know, the hurricane probably doesn't help, but as of today, there's only 45 jobs in Puerto Rico listed. Okay. I'm including Glassdoor. I'm including Indeed. I'm including Dice. I'm including Craigslist, like only 45 jobs. Okay, guys. So this is crazy. Okay. The next one is... Number nine, Vermont. So Vermont is another off state, right? And going back to Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico is not a state. It's a U.S. territory. But Vermont is actually a state. <laughs> and Vermont only has 41 jobs, guys. Like Vermont has less jobs than Puerto Rico. And they just went through a hurricane. That's bad. Okay. So it's not a, a really good state to be in. If you're looking for jobs, next thing is Hawaii. I mean, everybody knows Hawaii is a state, but it's like so far. Right. And at the same time, only has 35 jobs. Like that sounds crazy. You would think like there would be, I don't know, maybe hotels or something or small businesses that want to hire developers. But from what I hear is a lot of Hawaiian businesses, what they do is they hire in the mainland they hire in los angeles so what they do is they hire a lot of digital agencies in los angeles and then they basically handle uh, most of their web development and programming uh, tasks that they give them okay but there's a few little jobs here and there okay so if you live in hawaii i think it's time to, for you to move to the mainland okay i know the beach is nice the weather is nice you know the little heat from the volcano is nice sometimes <laughs> but at the same time you have to also think hey man what's better for my career so hawaii is pretty bad next one is south dakota so south dakota got 27 jobs it's another state that is just pretty bad 27 jobs man imagine that within the whole state i mean what is it south dakota is south dakota the one uh, that has potatoes no i think it's iowa right or something like that i don't know one of those have like potatoes right so there gotta be a business out there that needs a website or something all right it's crazy number six mississippi i guess this is the worst state in the south <laughs> if you live in mississippi there's only 27 jobs for you times is hard out there okay i mean it's mississippi you know what i mean you won't find me there <laughs> number five montana you know what i mean <laughs> i'm sorry guys i'm thinking about french montana every time i hear montana i think of french montana now but uh yeah man montana only got 26 jobs it's almost the same thing as uh the last one the other one had 27 this one has 26 i think they were very close by the states i think it's somewhere in the middle of the country in one of the areas that nobody goes so i guess there's no jobs there either then you have north dakota so north dakota got more jobs than south dakota wow <laughs> interesting <laughs> well it has less right less jobs so um north dakota with 25 jobs man like these type of numbers are bad man imagine you just be like hey i'm gonna move to one of the states man i like nature i like being out here 
And next thing you know, it's like, oh, there's no jobs. Like, the closest job to you is like, hey, do you want to join a farm or something? You want to go deal with some cattle? <laughs> All right. Number three, Alaska. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, is that surprising? It's Alaska. Like, what companies are up there? Unless they're doing like oil and, you know, killing bears and stuff, right? I don't even know. What's, what's the economy of Alaska like, you know? Like, I don't know. Somebody fill me in. If you're from Alaska, hey, let me know. So there's only 17 jobs in Alaska. That's pretty crazy. Number two, Wyoming. You know, that's kind of sad. <laughs> if Alaska got more jobs than Wyoming, that's kind of sad. Like, <laughs> Wyoming has 10 jobs in the whole state. I want you guys to picture this. Like, if you are a developer in Wyoming, currently right now, you have 10 opportunities. That's it. That's as far as you're going to go, okay? All right? So, my advice is definitely check out online. Uh, start applying for Lara jobs or remote okay. Like, try to get some remote jobs, man, because if you think there's going to be a job for you in your state, there's no jobs, kid. And number one, which shouldn't be a surprise, <laughs> number one with zero jobs is all four of these okay so you got guam zero jobs virgin islands zero jobs north marianas islands zero jobs american samoa zero jobs so if you're like a a, a big ass samoan <laughs> and you're trying to become a developer come back to the mainland <laughs> like there's no jobs in your area bro so yeah this is the list guys let me know what you guys think and also if you are wondering if your state is in between the best and the worst states and you want to find out what's the full list literally go to my website codingphase.com and go to the blog so if you go to codingphase.com right here all right you land right here go through the blog Go read the blog. I got some cool stuff in there, some cool tutorials. So I'm going to add right now the full list. So when you get a chance, go check it out. Also, if you're looking to learn how to code and you're living in, in a state and you're like, man, I want to get a job. Even if you are in one of these bad states or U.S. territories, you can still get a lot of remote jobs out there, guys. It's just you got to learn the right skills. Right? You can't just focus on things that is not going to get you hired. Right, So you want to get focused on something that's going to get you hired as a remote developer. If you're interested in that, come check out my website, codingphase.com. You know, get an old access pass. Okay. This is how the website looks. You enroll in the courses. You follow along each one. You know, everything is in order from start to finish to see which ones you got to finish. Right. Which ones you got to complete. And if you go buy every single course and you try to do this, it's going to cost like $955. My advice is sign up for the membership, kids. You know, sign up for the membership. You click on the link below and you're going to get 50% off. So this 20 becomes a 10. This 200 becomes 100. And this 600 becomes a 300. All right. So definitely go check it out, guys. Learn how to code, but learn the right things. All right. The things that's going to get you higher, get your projects in, get your portfolio in. And yeah, it's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com. Don't forget to give a like and don't forget to leave a comment. I want to know what do you think about this list? Peace.